Hello everyone, I'm Sean from District 19 Homes and good to see you again. And today we are back here at HDB Rivervale Delta and this is one of the youngest cluster that reached its 5-year MOP in late 2020. And uh, what I like about this entire estate is that it contains a lot of landscapings and facilities such as the fitness corners and playgrounds for various age groups for the residents. It is just a 2 minutes walking distance to Roomba LRT station which gets you back to Sinkar Marty Station within two stops and you have your Riverview Mall which you have an area of uh, dining options, a grocery, supermarket, NTUC fair price and many amenities and shops for you. And we are going to look at this four-room flat uh, which is fully renovated and the owner has kept in a well tip-top condition. So come with me. Alright, here we are stepping into the 4A model apartment and you can see that the owner has made it so cozy and maximized the storage in various places. What I like about this corner unit itself is that it sits on the floor area of 93 square meter which is slightly over 1000 square feet. Once you step into the front foyer space, uh, you notice that the owner has done additional uh, cabinet space just right below the DB board. And here you can put in these letters or even keys uh, once you came back home. And over here, they have an additional shoe rack area. And as well as the consumer door that hides the bomb shelter, which is also known as our utility room. And this double up additional storage uh, for your luggage, or even can add as your pantry area. And stepping into the living hall, you notice that it's a very squarish layout that allows you to play around with the furniture. And the good thing is that you enjoy the estate greenery view and you're not facing towards any highway or towards the main road. And therefore, you pretty much enjoy a very quiet, serene environment. <music> Besides the cold lightings and the down lights that you saw in the living hall that creates a different atmosphere, over here in the dining area, you have a huge chandelier that brightens up the whole entire premise. And here you have your six-seater dining set where you enjoy your family meal time with your loved ones. Well, let's check out the kitchen area, shall we? Stepping into the kitchen space, you notice that it is fully equipped with your built-in oven and your cooking stove and your hood area. And over at this countertop, it is made of quartz, which is a built-to-last material. On two sides, you have enough cabinetry storage. And over here, you have a big capacity fridge, which is exactly a two-dog fridge where you can feed the entire household. And over in the service yard area, this is the area where the owner has done the laundry as well as the heavy duty cooking. And that actually, to be honest, in my own opinion, it makes the kitchen so clean and so tidy. You don't have to worry about the grease coming into the premises. And uh, what I like is that this entire service yard area, it looks out even to the estate greenery space. Well, let's check out the rest of the bedrooms. Stepping into the first common bedroom, the owner has converted this space to be the helper's room as well as the children's play area. And you notice that there are a lot of furniture such as the wardrobes and the chest of drawers. But when you actually visualize, you can easily put in a queen size bed plus a study desk and building wardrobes to your preference and liking. Of course, the bedrooms are all fitted with uh, the new aircon inverter system. Uh, but one thing to highlight is that all the bedrooms faces towards the asset greenery and there's no traffic noise at all and this is the part where the owner enjoys the full privacy and the quiet environment. While stepping into the second common bedroom, the owner has built a platform to house a queen size bed and right below the step where I'm stepping on is actually additional storage space uh, to put in some of the clothing items of the things that's of uh, less use and you have your built-in wardrobe as well as the aircon. And what I like is that the windows are huge enough to create uh, natural ventilation and lighting into the bedroom and the owner has done out the helmet just to hide the curtain tracks just to make it look as clean slate as much as possible. Well, let's check out the master room, shall we? Last but not least, 
we are here to check out the master bedroom which is so spacious and the owner has again maximized the storage space you have your l-shaped wardrobe area as well as a study area or more like a workstation where you can actually work from home and you also have a tv console where they put in their flat tv for their tv entertainment time as well as additional storage right along beneath the window area so you can see that you know this is really in a moving condition um, here you can put in a queen size bed with your you know white windows and you just have to take in the surrounding and the serenity of the environment and uh, it's so quiet and that's when you know that your sleep will not be disturbed at all and let's check out the master bathroom When the owners bought this unit directly from the HDB, well, they did not take in the original furnishings. So they have done a fair bit of a renovation for the master bathroom. Here they have actually changed the entire vanity counter to make it off a quartz top. And they actually managed to put in additional storage space right below the basin, as well as mirror cabinets for the toiletries. And the cove I think just create a different feel and makes it more like a hotel kind of a concept and this is what I feel that the owner has really gone through a very thoughtful rigor design process to make it so livable and so cozy for the entire family. Over here in 162A Riverview Crescent, there are a lot of options for preschools and kindergartens in the estate and there is a mega childcare centre just right along the Riverview Crescent Road. There are also many primary school options such as Riverville Primary, North Spring Primary, Sengkang Primary, Compassville Primary and North Vista Primary School. From 162A Riverville Crescent, you can take 2 minutes uh, walking distance to the nearest RRT station which is known as Rubia RRT and there you have your Riverville Mall and you have your food court as well as the NTUC Fair Price Supermarket. 2 stops away from Rubia leads you to the Sengkang MRT station which contains Compass One Shopping Mall and there you have the Cold Storage Supermarket as well as the Kopitiam Food Court. If you are driving, you can easily get on to KPE Expressway via through Sengkang East Drive which takes less than 2 minutes. Alternatively, you can head on to TPE SLE via through Pongo Road, which is also around 2 minutes driving distance. If you are an enthusiast in cycling, scooting, rollerblading, or even jogging just for recreation activities with your family, not to worry because you have the entire Sungai Serangoon Park connector that leads all the way to Coney Island and Pongo Settlement. If you are looking for a renovated 4-room flat that contains 3 bedrooms, an ideal location that you have your nearby coffee shop, bakery, clinics and as well as a shopping mall and an LRT station for public transport that gets you back to Sengkang MRT station within 5 minutes, then you should be here viewing this place with me. I'm Sean from District 19 Homes and I look forward to see you in my next exclusive listing. See you then!